And we begin with breaking news tonight. A major step forward for Beaumont ISD. The state has signed off on the district transitioning back to a fully elected school board. 12 News reporter Victoria Dillion is live at the administration building, breaking down this late breaking development. Well, Dej, the state has had total control over Beaumont ISD, ISD's board for about six years now. In 2014, the TA took over due to financial mismanagement. Last week, the state sent a letter to Superintendent Dr. Shannon Allen breaking down the change and what happens next. The Commissioner of Education, Mike Moritz, says Kevin Reese and Robert Dunn, who are elected trustees, will now assume their elected powers and duties. Reese and Dunn fill the positions previously held by Angela Corbin Bransford and a vacant seat. As for the other three members, Denise Wallace Spooner, Zenobia Bush, Nathan Cross, and President Thomas Siggy, they will complete the remainder of their terms for their respective positions. Now, the two most recently elected board members are expected to be seated sometime this month. We reached out to Dr. Allen and all current board members, but haven't been able to speak with them all afternoon. Later tonight, we'll have more on what this means for BISD. Live in Beaumont, Victoria DeLeon, 12 News. All right, so right